Faltu den hrt, faltu den hrt. Jag är den sjövall. Vill du att kinga marken kan ni hö? Good to see you again, Roddy. Hello, Jean. Still waiting for the council to tarmac the road, eh? <sighs> you remember these two? I do, of course. How are you both? Very well, thank you, Aunt Jean. I'm fine, thank you. Come on in, out of the court. Roddy's here with Neil and Fiona. Hello. Hello. Good to see you again, Callum. You know, I was just thinking on the way up, it's, uh, it's eight years since we last met. Uh, Mum told me you're busy down in Edinburgh. Aye. Uh, Neil, uh, Fiona, come and shake hands with Callum. We'd a lovely drive up. It's too far from Edinburgh. And it's cost me a place in the first 50 years. It's Edinburgh, it is too far from here. Take Neil and Fiona out to see the den. Uncle Roddy can help me with the lunch. Lunch? Me? Right, spaghetti hoops, okay? With uh, toast, maybe. Does that sound good? We're having herring. To think I miss rugby to come up in this wilderness. Why on earth would anybody want to live here? You wouldn't fit in. I think it's beautiful. I'd like to live on Croftmoor. More fool you. Learn from anywhere, all this boring water. You'd end up talking to the sea. I couldn't live anywhere else. You're going to have to. That's why we're here, as you well know. Be quiet, Neil. They're being thrown out because they owe the bank money. I think Father's mad to even consider getting involved. Look, it wasn't me who asked for your help. It was my mother. We'd like you to come and live with us, Callum. Honestly. Personally, I don't care one way or the other. Probably the one stuck with showing him around, no doubt. You're a loud-mouthed Noel who knows nothing. Neil, apologize. For telling the truth. I have to go and see a friend. The den's up there. I'll see you at lunch. Do you always have to be so horrible? Little creep. But he hasn't got a friend. This place is miles from anywhere. You're a bully. And like all bullies, you're a coward. You're afraid of him just there. Afraid of him? Don't be ridiculous. This is his wonderful day, is it? <laughs> this is fantastic. Oh, look, Neil. Oh, look at these. They're real. Well, what do you expect to find in a pigsty? Well, what do you know? They've actually heard of television. What? Mmm. Be careful with that, you'll damage it. What's it supposed to be? A sheep? Down. You have no right to touch Carmen's things. You're rubbish. Get a five could do better. Oh, I'd hate to live here. You should be grateful we've come. Tomorrow my uncle and cousins will arrive from Edinburgh. I don't want to leave Croftmoor. This evening the deer were all around the house. The hind that was sick seems to be all right. I was worrying about her. <laughs> I was worrying about her. <laughs> there really is a lot to be said for Edinburgh, you know. It's a lovely city. Mm, and you would go to a good school with Neil. There are cinemas, theatres, the zoo. You seem keen on animals. You'd like the zoo. Look, Uncle Roddy, it's very good of you. But this is my home. I wouldn't be happy in a city. I don't have any choice. Do you think that I want to leave? Look, Callum, you know the circumstances. Your mum borrowed money to open the craft shop. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. 
Now the bank wants their money. It's a hard world sometimes. You'd have complete privacy. It's in our house, but it's an attic flat. And your mum would have a job in my law firm. We're wasting our time. He doesn't want to come. Let's get home. If he can't be helpful, be quiet. Well, it's quite clear. Neil, I want to stay on the croft. I'll go if we have to. But surely there must be some other way. Excuse me. There is no other way. I know. Don't worry. He'll like the city eventually. Could I be excused, please? I want to talk to Callum. Of course, Fiona. Those are about 3,000 years old. Our history teacher had slides of some. What would you miss most of all? The freedom, the space, no crowds of people, no rushing about, no traffic jams, no pollution. It's a peaceful place. It's what you're used to. I can understand that. I like to stand here and watch the ships passing and the seals playing. Well, actually, we're not far from the airport. You could watch the planes. We'll stay for a day or two, Jean. Maybe when he gets to know us better... Why all this debate? He's a child, tell me. Neil, him. go and join the others. I want to talk to your aunt. And try to behave yourself. It's a grey heron. I see one quite often down by the river. Really? Do you think we might see it? It's possible. We need to walk a mile or two. I'm not hiking miles just to see some bird. That's okay. You can stay here. Don't suppose you'd know the difference between a grey heron and a sparrow. We should have come up here more often. Ah, uh, there's nowhere like it in the world. Well, I'm not impressed. I'd go mad this far from civilization. You wouldn't win many popularity polls, your brother. Is there any friends? Of course I've got friends. Some of them are quite nice, believe it or not. I should think they must have the patience of saints. Won't you give Edinburgh a try, Callum? Please? <sighs> I'd be like a fish out of water. In winter, the deer come to our garden and I feed them. Oh, very exciting. And then there are my friends. You'd make new friends. <sighs> not like these. These are very special friends. Special? Only I can see them. They're here, and they're not here. I think they lived on Croft Moor a long time ago. Ghosts? Huh. He's talking about ghosts. He's deranged, I knew it. Do you speak to them? No, they can't hear me. I've tried. I can hear them, though. He hallucinates. There's madness in the family. It sounds scary. No, I like them. Father knows a very good psychiatrist. You'll be a challenge to him. When do you see them? I'm an old chanter that belonged to her great grandfather. I play that, they sometimes appear. It would drive me anyone mad living here. Are you being serious, Callum? You're not making fun of me. They might be reluctant today. The atmosphere is very important. Neil, we need silence. Do you think that might be possible? There are no ghosts. It's not scientific. Please.
something happening. Don't be so stupid, Fiona. There's no one there. Quiet. Just be quiet. I want to hear them. Things will be better in a new world. John McLean says that many die of terrible illnesses on the voyage. John McLean should attend to his prayers and not be talking foolish talk. Canada's a good country, right enough. They say there's land for the taking. It is a new beginning. Scotland is not for us anymore. Is it not shameful that we are being exiled to make way for sheep? The Laird knows best, Rory. The bracelet brought us luck at first. There's no luck in it now. We have a long walk to the ship in the morning. We must leave at daybreak. What on earth are you doing, Fiona? I take it you didn't see them. That's because there was nothing to see. Ask Fiona. I saw them. They looked like us. They're our family, long ago. Why didn't I see them? What did they say? They're being sent to Canada to make way for a sheep. And now I have to leave Croft Moor. It's a sign. I'm going to tell Dad. He won't believe you. I'm going to sleep in here tonight. They're leaving tomorrow. Highland clearances. You'll have to tell him soon, Dad! Jean. It's only fair. Dad, Dad! Oh. You'll never guess what we've just seen. Calm down, Fiona. Some of our family being sent to Canada during the Highland clearances. I beg your pardon? Callum's friends from a long time ago. Oh, it was so sad. Three of them. What if I told you about all that nonsense? No, really, Angie, we saw them, honestly. There was nothing there. Hey, Fiona, we'll, uh, we're going for a walk. Your aunt and Callum have got some talking to do. Callum. I know. We're leaving Croft Moor. Mm. Swore they walked to the water on Midsummer's night every year. People? Ah, people. Turn to stone for dancing on the Sabbath. <laughs> you still believe the old legends, Callum? Oh, I don't know about that. But there is a strangeness about them in the moonlight. Strange feeling. Yeah, aye. At a time like that, a man can believe in witches and magic and the old arts. You're a lawyer, Father. You don't believe in magic. Nah, I know. It's still home, somehow. Still home. Have you seen the heron? No, there's been no sign of him. How old were you when your father died? Eight. I barely remember him, though. Are you really going to sleep in the den tonight? I am. Can we join you? I'm not sleeping in there. It'll be freezing. The stones don't really walk if that's what you're afraid of. I'm not afraid. We could have flasks of coffee and soup. There's plenty of room, still, if you're not up to it. Of course it. I'm up to it. It's just a stupid thing to do. There are no ghosts. Oh, please, Neil. It'll be fun, please. Oh, all right. Anything to keep the peace, but it's still a stupid idea. That's us get two soup, there's a coffee and there's a tea. And there's plenty of food as well. That should see us all right for the night. What's that noise? Could be a badger. A badger? Aren't they vicious? Why was I left out before you two saw? Badgers are shy. It's a bit creepy. Just a bit. Oh, Fiona, don't be so... We're perfectly safe. Callum, 
I'm sorry about this morning. The rugby match, it was a big game for me. Oh, forget it. I made it through the trials and everything. Look, it was my mother who asked for help, not me. Look, I behaved badly and I'm apologising. Okay? Shift up. Right. Get to sleep. Keep your voice down. The wood us again, and I want to hear what they have to say. Just listen. When will we ever see Scotland again? Who's to say, Dory? We may be back more quickly than we think. And we may never be back at all. We'll make our fortune in a new world and return to buy the whole glen. There won't be any fortunes for us. The fortunes are being made by the men driving us from our homes. It's a bad time to be living in the Highlands. We are in the hands of the Lord. Aye, we can trust in the Lord. Just a great pity that we trusted in the lair. Destroy. Come on. It can be put off no longer. Father is waiting. We must walk to the boat. What are you doing with the bracelet, Mary? You haven't taken it off since you found it three summers ago. The luck's gone from it, and it belongs here on Croftmoor. We'll come back and declaim it someday. Did that really happen? Am I dreaming? Whatever became of them, I hope they made it to Canada and were happy. I'm wondering if Mary ever made it back for that bracelet. The stone isn't loose any longer. There's mortar around it. Ah, it's very old and dry, though. It's impossible, Callum. These things don't happen. I know, it isn't scientific, but Highlanders know better. Right enough. Certainly looks like a Celtic bracelet. I mean, if that's genuine, it must be worth a fortune. I've seen one just like that too in the uh, museum in Queen Street in Edinburgh. Oh, it's the real thing. There's no doubt about it. We don't know that. Uh, believe me, I know. It's been around Croftmoor for centuries. Just think of it. Lying, waiting for us to find it. When we needed it most. We'll get a lot of money for it. And if the museum buy it to make a pair, we can see it any time we visit Edinburgh. But who did you know ways to look? Just luck, I suppose. What other explanation could there be? We were just lucky.
big kids. New Kellogg's Toppers. Grown up shredded whole wheat with a yummy, scrummy, sweet topping on the top. New Kellogg's Toppers. For the big kid in you. To mix the real orange pieces in Orangina, you've got to shake it. Orangina, shake the bottle, wake the drink. By a slimy swamp in a rocky ridge, the Milky Bar gang cross an old road bridge. When up comes Slurp, that slimy pest, he wants to steal the Milky Bar chest. The Milky Bar's a laundry! Milky Bar from Nestle. Oh, we do like to eat beside the sea. Oh, we do like to eat beside the sea. Yes, we do like the shapes, cause they're fun, fun, fun. New bird's eye seasiders with prime cotton potato. Everyone, one, one. Look, a boat trip. Beside the seaside, beside the sea. New seasiders, cotton potato shapes. I only choose the best for the captain's table. We come on! Gotta get some mess quick, quick, and quick. <laughs> that rich, smooth chocolate. It's simply out of this world. Uh oh. Mess quick. Nice. So where are the two glasses, Sam? Don't tell me. The bunny. You always blame it on the bunny. Come on, we're going to be late. But mommy, mommy, there is a bunny. Of course there is. Have another. Pistol. Hey, people. 